Hello, YouTubers, fellow hams, shortwave listening enthusiasts, and whoever else might have stumbled upon this video. We're going to talk about multipath reception, and I wanted to talk about it because I just happened to snag an excellent example of multipath uh, on AM, shortwave listening, the other night. So I thought this would be an interesting illustration of how multipath works and what it might sound like if you happen to run across it while listening to the radio. What we're looking at here is an extremely basic, simple, amateur diagram of radio propagation. <laughs> Alrighty, so this would be the ionosphere up here. There's different layers of the ionosphere and they affect radio frequencies at different um, frequencies at different times of the day. There's all kinds of information out there on how the ionosphere works for different bands, different solar activity, and so on and so forth. But for the sake of this particular example, we're just going to simplify it down to this is how radio waves bounce. All right, so you've got a transmitting station, and its signal is line of sight. It goes in a straight path. So normally there'd be no way for this station's signal to get to that station because you're not going to get through the Earth. But what happens is, as we can see here, it goes up, it bounces off the ionosphere, it comes back down, and voila, this station is able to receive it. Uh, that's a direct path, okay? And in, in, in reality, be, depending upon the angle, there might be multiple bounces. It'll bounce off the Earth, bounce back off the ionosphere, bounce off the Earth, bounce off the ionosphere, get down there eventually. Uh, you know, it just depends on how high up in the ionosphere the signal's bouncing, uh, how the radiated signal's coming off the antenna, yada, 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 yada. There's all kinds of variables. But like I said, this is simplified. All right. So let's consider this to be a direct path. The shortest distance between this station and that station across the surface of the Earth. And we've got propagation, the signal's getting here, that short path. So uh, there's another way that the signal might get there, and that would be long path. And long path would be down here. Again, poorly drawn. I mean, yeah, it would be more symmetrical. But the idea is sound. The signal goes up, bounces off, bounces off the earth, bounces off the ionosphere, yeah, back and forth, springing its way across until it finally gets back here to this station. They're called long path because this is the longer distance around the planet, right? In multipath reception, uh, as in this diagram here, let's say that there are conditions that are just right that the signal is actually able to make it via long path all the way down to our receiving station. So this station over here is receiving signals from two different directions. And now here's the interesting part. Since this distance is further, it takes a little bit longer for that signal to complete its path here. Okay, uh, what's that going to do? Well, radio waves travel at the speed of light approximately 186,000 miles per second, I believe. Uh, you're doing a little math with the circumference of the Earth, it would take, um, if I did it right, 0.13 seconds for a signal to traverse the entire distance around the Earth. So in this example here, with that being about two-thirds, you know, we're looking at uh, just about uh, 0 0.08, 0 0.09 seconds. You can hear that. Uh, if, if you take an audio sample and you introduce a repeating delay of uh, 0 0.09 seconds, you can hear it. I'll do it right here with my voice. You, you should, should be, be hearing, hearing what, what sounds, sounds a little, a little bit, bit like, like an, an echo. echo. All right. So, if we have multipath reception going on and our station over here is picking up signals both on the short and the long path, what does it sound like? Well, it sounds like an echo chamber. I'm about to play you a, an example. This is what I recorded the other night. I'll show you the screenshot from the radio so you can see the frequency. I believe it's a Chinese station, 
and conditions were just right that night. I actually recorded three different stations that were exhibiting this. Now what you want to listen for, you're going to hear as this propagation on the long path fades in and out and this propagation on the short path fades in and out, you're going to hear the effect changing. You'll hear uh, the echoing come in, fade up, get strong, sort of phase with the original signal and then fade out. Uh, it'll happen several times in the segment. So here you go. Here is an example of multipath reception. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.